Hey you guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very awesome launcher that I've been using lately. It's called Everything Me Launcher. This launcher just came out from beta, but it was available a long time ago. I remember I used this launcher on my Galaxy S3, and now this is the Galaxy Note 3, and now it finally got out of beta. Um, what it is, it's a launcher that actually tries to help you out. It tries to make your life easier by giving you, by for example, when you first launch this um, launcher, it will automatically get all your apps and put them in categories and folders. They call these smart folders. Um, every folder, let's go ahead and open one of them, for example, social. Um, you're going to see your apps, which is right here. If you don't like an app that's been put there, you could just go ahead and, and tap and hold and remove it or put it in the home screen. Um, over here, after your apps, you're going to see um, from the web sites, websites that are, they look like little apps, but they're actually shortcuts to the websites. Like for example, if I tap right here, WordPress, it takes me to the WordPress website. Very, very cool. And so on, so on. Anyone that you click here will take you to the website. Every folder has its own wallpaper in the back, like you see right here, utility. And let's say you wanna change the wallpaper, you could just click right here, change wallpaper. Uh, it will automatically, like I like how it shows you now a result of web uh, uh, wallpapers that you can actually choose from. Or you could go ahead and choose from your own web um, wallpapers here in gallery. And let's go ahead here and choose a wallpaper, whatever wallpaper I want. Uh, let's say I choose um, this one. Like you see right there, it automatically changes the wallpaper to whatever wallpaper you choose. If you don't like it, you can go ahead back to default image and that's how it's gonna look. Uh, that's very, very cool, I like it. And if you wanna make create another uh, folder, you could just go ahead and click here. And I like the way when you when you tap and hold the home screen, it'll show you the uh, this right here. It shows you add apps, add smart folders, add widgets, add change wallpaper or, or preference. When you click here, smart, uh, folders, you, for example, if I choose, um, let's say I choose, um, uh, let's go ahead and choose uh, daily deals. If I choose daily deals, click done, boom, automatically it creates a folder with daily deals. And you see right here, another wallpaper which is different, and it shows you different um, apps. If you had apps with daily deals, it will show you them there. I don't have, but it showed me a lot of shortcuts to website where I could get daily deals, which is very, very cool. You can always, of course, remove the folder if you don't like it, just by clicking here, removing. That's it. Another thing that I like is this right here. Like you see right there, it keeps on changing. And what it is, this they call it prediction bar. Um, and what it does is it, it tries to show you the apps that you usually use the most and it tries to predict the apps that you want to use next. And like you see right there, it keeps changing from the clock to the uh, to the apps. And you go, of course, you could go ahead and swipe like that and you could go back to the clock or you could go to the apps. If you click right here, it takes you back also to the to the. Um, clock as well um, if from here you you find an app that you don't want to see here no more for example let's say I don't want to see the weather app here no more I could go ahead and never show here boom it will never show the app there uh, for example if you don't like that the prediction you could go here to preference and in preference there's a lot of things you can actually do not too much but there's some things you could do like for example you could put put more home screens right now I got up to I got, got it set up for three home screen by default you're gonna have five home screen or you could go to seven home screens I like having just three uh, prediction bar you could go ahead click here and it will automatically like you see right there, it will automatically hide the prediction bar. So now you don't have that. But honestly, I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it enabled. Show prediction bar. And now, like you see right there, it shows the prediction bar, which is very cool. Uh, of course, you can use any, any widgets that you want. Any widget that you want, you could go ahead and do that. Um, over here, when you go to the bra to the draw, it actually looks the same as it does on normal, you know, Android. You see right there, you got the apps. Here you got the widgets, and if you want to put a widget to the home screen, all you got to do is um, just like you would on any other app, you could just go ahead and hold, 
and put it here boom and that's it just like that um, also another thing you could do here of course if we want to change the wallpaper you go ahead and click right here and change the wallpaper and it'll show you whatever other app that you have wallpapers on this is very very cool another thing that I have here is that this universal search right here for example if I want to search for an app I could just go ahead for example put music music and it automatically shows me my apps and it also shows me other sh suggestions and it also shows me a uh, web web searches and I click right here I could go ahead and clip it could open music boss and that's it very very cool of course um, here you can start search for the Iron Man or oh, whatever you go ahead. search for Iron Man And like you see there, it gives you result, results of Iron Man. Like you see right there, it also shows you, sometimes it shows you a, a wallpaper in the back related to Iron Man. Like you see, that's Iron Man 3, play books, and over here, web searches. So if I want to click, for example, on search for, for Iron Man, I could go ahead here, Iron Man Comics, and it'll take me to a website that has Iron Man Comics. There it goes. Like you see right there, very, very cool. It was, that was actually Marvel. And that's it, that's what I like about this launcher. It looks very, very clean. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't look over, over exaggerating different from Android. Um, I like the way this looks right here. I love this, this is very cool. And of course, this right here is a very, very good. And it also shows you your recent searches. And you go here, go ahead here and clear the search as well, the history as well which is very cool and I gotta say they did an awesome job one thing that I would love to see is me um, me or us being able to change the theme of the icons that would be awesome because right now I could tap on one of them but that's all I can do I keep all I can do is remove it or put it in the home screen but it won't let me change the icons which is kind of kind of sucks i hope they actually add that feature that would be very very awesome and that's it but i gotta say it's totally free so you won't be losing any money by trying it and most likely you will like it because i gotta say i've been loving it and it's very very cool also here for example has these two folders the news folder i like how it shows cards like you see right here it shows cards of the latest news all these news are coming from different sources, but you could go ahead and click on one of them and it'll take you to that source, and which is very cool. Of course, it shows you the fold, the apps as well. Here on the weather one, it shows you a card with the weather, which is very cool. And it also shows you the app that you have available. It also shows you web searches results that are available. Of course, any folder you could change the wallpaper as well. And that's it guys, um, I gotta say, you gotta try this um, launcher, it's called Everything Me Launcher. It's totally free and I think you might like it. It looks very nice, I love it. And I'm gonna be using this for a while until I get tired of it. So guys, um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys like it, till next time.